We're here, yes, we're live here on Facebook and, and on Kumu. Kumu. Hi, everybody. So it is Miss O and Miss Maria Tan, right? So just a couple of um, reminders before we start the show. Um, we are not gonna be able to say hi to everybody who comes in, okay? Please don't take offense. We really just wanna maximize the time to be able to give you all the information that we want to share with you so that you can be educated and empowered as negotiantes, okay? We also will be scrolling through the comment section um, periodically every couple of minutes to read your sharings and also to read your your questions and address them. So please be patient and wait okay we just don't want to like um what do you call this we don't want the flow of the show to be disrupted yes now here's another funny but important reminder for any personal questions please just pm us <laughs> please just send us a pm and you know instead of posting it here where everybody can see um, so questions about how old we are or if we are single please just PM us and let's stick to the topic of the show so again everybody happy happy Thursday evening welcome to the startup secrets the real negotiated talk and we are here to talk about business and negotiations and the real life of negotiantes or entrepreneurs right so hello everybody who just joined in I am Miss O uh, you know me from the Tagalog Tuesdays and the Secret Series, uh, my regular live streams, right? So this is a brand new show. It is only our second episode, right? Um, I am a behaviorist. I'm also a consultant for different corporations. I also own a consulting firm. So I dabble in a lot of different things. I am also a um, proud educator. In short, she's a proud, multi-passionate Serial entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that that was very formal. I should put that on my resume. That is perfect yes. for a resume, right? So, and my dear partner over here, Miss Maria K. Tan. Yeah. I am a success business and wealth coach. I publish books. I'm a motivational speaker. I I've been featured in Elephant Journal. Um, half post addicted to success especially on topics about money entrepreneurship millennial empowerment women empowerment and it was a video that we're really talking about the, the 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 inner workings of what makes successful entrepreneurs or yung mga talagang nagsasucceed na mga negosyante kasi ang dami nating naririnig dyan na hindi naman nila tinatouch yung totoong point That's they, true. they really just Glaze over the information that uh, we have to really be aware of moving forward, moving forward in businesses. Because nga, parang din siyang, for me, businesses are like marriages, right? Hindi siya, hindi siya yung parang kain na dinuluwa mo lang pag kunyari, feeling mo na paso ka. You know, it's like, yeah, it's you don't, true, it's true. Right? Like, you have to really understand what you're going into. And this, this show, um, Olivia and I really got into talking about the importance and significance of these kinds of real talk especially in the Philippines no kasi here and that parang lalo na sa kultura ng Pilipino napakahirap yung maging honest tayo sa yung yung nararamdaman natin here kasi hirap, para right? tayo kung ano lang yung maganda ko ano yes, lang yung masaya yes, yes, yun yes, lang yes. yung pinapakita so yung kahit nahihirapan na na, na sobrang nagdud nagdudusa yeah, nagdudusa. Nagdudusa yeah. na hindi pa rin aaminan kasi natatakot na na mapahiya na exactly. ta or natatakot na maging burden mm -hmm. to the family. They don't want to show that they're having a hard time. So what we get is this romanticized, version. glamorous yeah. version of being an entrepreneur, which is not the case all the time. Yes, and that's why when we connected, since we're both Filipinas and we thought, you know, this is a way for us to really share what we've learned especially you know in our own careers um, especially through our dealings with different kinds of people this is something that we really need to talk about hindi na dapat tabu to. it's something that we need to keep talking about to keep sharing to keep casting light on because empowerment begins with the right awareness yes so people need start need to start being yes. honest yes yes just yes. being brutally honest about you know what really goes on when you 
try to become an entrepreneur yeah. when you try to run your own business because the thing is you know a lot of people you know there's a lot of ads be your own boss yes quit your job work by the beach make six figures from the beach uh, <laughs> so it's not you know it's not all that easy and success doesn't come in that quickly it's not like you snap your fingers and then kaboom you're already successful right yeah. and last week Actually, yun yung topic natin na why, why do negotiations fail? And we gave you five reasons last week. If you want to watch the recap of this, it's also on our YouTube page. It's also on the Facebook page where you can really see yung recap ng episode na yun because we really touch on five key points. And we're not going to go into those five key points very detailed because that's for you to watch. Yes. You know, to, to review. It's also here on Google, okay. <laughs> Ex Yes, exactly. So watch the replay on the five reasons why negotiations fail. But don't you want to give them a breakdown just so that they have a short some idea? Some idea. Okay. Well, let's see if people who were with us last time from our audience. <laughs> is, this is, this a is this a quiz? Well, like, is this a quiz? I'm gonna start a quiz show. That's what I'm gonna do with startup. Now with start startup secrets, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like a little quiz show in the beginning to review all of you guys and yes, you guys can yes, win diamonds. Yes, yes. Exactly. I will do that. Mm, and for idea. those of you watching from Facebook, diamonds are in Kumu. Yeah, diamonds are in Kumu. <laughs> yeah. So Kumu is a social app in the Philippines. And it's a live stream it is, app. It's a live stream app, social app in the Philippines, targeted to Filipinos from all over the world. Kaya nga siya Kumu sa mga kababayan, right? That's right. right. That's right. <laughs> And so, on Kumu, you can earn. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But okay, before we start plugging, that, know, they better sponsor us. They better okay, sponsor Okay, so us first. let's look at just a recap of the five things that we, that, you know, that, that are the reasons why negosyos fail. Bakit ba nalulugi ang mga negosyo? Or so nagsasara. Yung, or nagsasara. So yung first is, is that, too ambitious. Yes. Too when, big of a dream with no real clarity mm -hmm. as to how to get there. Right. Yeah, and the second here is apart from the lack of clarity, meron ding tayong lack of planning. Siyempre, you have oh nga clear ka nga kung ano gusto mo, wala ka namang plan. Yes. <laughs> ano yung mga step by step objectives exactly, mo, right? It's like, you know, saying, "Okay, I want to go abroad." Tapos wala kang plan, pumunta ka na lang na airport. Wala kang ticket, wala kang visa, wala kang passport. And then magagalit ka, bakit hindi ka pinalabas? Yes. <laughs> and the third thing here is the mismanagement of funds or money. Kasi it's really about financial literacy, right? Kailangan we know how to use our funds well, we know how to. Kasi of course, may limit kasi rin ang funds eh. So, Remember, cash is king. Yeah, so cash is it's king. really important to know how to use them well. The fourth one is the poor team. Because you mismanage your funds, you did not hire the right people. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> because yes. you can't afford them anymore. Right? Yeah. So you now have a poor team. And not only that, not only not affording them, but maybe using the wrong people in your team. Like yes. mga kapamilya, yes. your mga uncles, kapusos, <laughs> your uncles, your best friends that aren't really qualified yes, yes, to be yes. in that position. Yes. Right? And not only not helping you, but also maybe creating more problems yes. for you. And the the last one is when the founders get this illusion and then give up. Yes. Or sometimes they're not aligned because they're not aligned anymore. Yeah. Right. Yeah. When that happens, that's really <sighs> sad. No. It's very very sad. But you know, speaking of you know having that sadness around why negotiations fail, we actually wanted this episode to focus on. Oh, nga, marami ng negosyo na, 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 na nasasara, nagsasara. There are really a lot of businesses that close down. Pero a lot of them close down kasi may mismanagement ng sila within. There is nothing wrong with failure. Nope. Right? Nothing wrong with failures at all or facing challenges for, yes. for a ma as a matter of yes, fact, yes, right? Yes, yes. Hold on, let's take a little bit of a break and say hello to everybody who just joined in, right? So we just did our intros we did our rules right so we all know that you know we, I can't say hi to everybody we can't say hi to everybody who's yeah. joining in but we will scroll through all right so and we will scroll through to see your your comments also and your questions all right so today's topic is about 
failing forward. Failing forward, right? So it's kind of like odd, right? Failing forward. How do you fail forward? It's kind of like an odd topic, but it very well connects with the first episode of this series, right? Yes. Which is why Negotius fail. And I think failing forward is one of the most the, the most crucial element of businesses. And this is something that we need to be able to talk about openly. Kasi nga, like we said earlier, especially in the Philippines, parang na-romanticize na lahat ng, lahat ng entrepreneurship dreams. So people yes. tend Overnight to... Overnight success! Yes, yes, people tend to gloss over facts. And then pag nakaka-meet ng konting challenges lang, a lot of people yeah get disheartened oh. and just quit way before they even reach a momento. Yes. So today, that's what we're going to really dig deep into and we'd love to hear your thoughts. Yes. When we say failing, somebody here already made a comment and she says failure is not final, only a delayed success. Exactly. Right? That is amazing, yes. Krista. That's Great. a delayed success because when we fail forward, actually failures are the stepping stones that build our foundation, diba? They they help us. They are the things that we that people don't really talk about, people don't see, but these are the things that propel us forward and catapult our successes. Yes. And today, we're going to really look look at the three reasons why you have to be okay with failures. Not be afraid of it. Yes, yes. Not, not be afraid of it. Remember, you know, a lot of the matatandas, they always go, Okay lang yan. It's a lesson. Yeah. It's a lesson. You know, there's... Charge it to experience. Charge it to experience. <laughs> this is a very Filipino thing, yes. no? But charge you know, it to experience. Sometimes we can't afford to just charge it to experience, you know? Because sometimes our funds are this much. Yeah, it has. <laughs> you know? And sometimes and, it's really yes, scary. Yes, exactly. So, when we say failing forward, it's what we do from those failures. Yes. And hindi siya, it doesn't give you that that permission to just be irresponsible mm -hmm. with your goals, with your with how you move forward. Rather, pag sinabi kasi natin fading forward, we're using those failures as stepping stones for what's coming next. Next. Kasi, like Olivia said, yes, we can charge things to experience. But hindi, there will be a time na dapat tapos na yung ulit ulit natin charge it to experience charge okay. it to experience right pag pa ulit ulit ibig sabihin hindi ka natuto doon sa experience <laughs> exactly <laughs> parang yeah. repeat ka na uh, repeat, repeat ka na na repeat no, that, that there's something wrong you know what they say you know the definition of, of crazy is doing the same thing over, over and, over, and again over again and expecting a different result and okay. that's what actually see the next sabi niya do you remember <laughs> <laughs> this was actually a quote from Albert Einstein there you <laughs> the world, one of the world's, siguro most considered as one of the world's greatest yes. inventors, and that's He's what makes genius. him great at inventing things because he always tweaked things moving forward. Yes. So he uses, siguro, meron siyang mal na malit na nagawa, pinalitan niya, inayos niya para makapag abante siya, makapag move forward siya sa ginagawa niya. That's why he said you're crazy to expect something new. new if you're doing the same thing over and over again. We have a really good acronym here, FAIL. First attempt in learning. Exactly, right? right? In, in learning. In that's learning. the key. And that's what we're, we're really talking on. The first thing to say, failure is really about the first step in learning, right? Mm -hmm. So when you face failure, the best thing to do is to take it all in and step back. And be creative about Breathe. yes, and be creative about how you can move forward from this failure, right? Because oftentimes, what people do, either number one, pag nag fail sila, ay nako ayaw ko na, ayaw na, ayaw ko na, masakit yun eh. You know why? This is actually due to our conditioning, right? So me talking as a behaviorist here right now, as kids, you know, as kids we go whenever we fail. Our parents tend to overprotect us. Yeah, they won't even let us bump our heads, so we don't experience the natural consequences of things, right? But for those kids who weren't so sheltered, weren't so overprotected, their their parents let them explore, touch something hot. You learn not to touch yes, it again, yes. right? Bump your head. Now you learn to be more environmentally aware. Now here's the thing: not a lot of people were afforded the opportunity to experience. Failure. Exactly. So not scary. 
Yes, exactly. And they don't know, they don't have the coping behaviors for it. Especially, I think, for businesses, right? Because, mm-hmm. you know, ngayon lang pera, naman, yeah. mawawala ang pera. Yes, and I think ngayon lang naman kasi yung, yung trend of entrepreneurship. Like, before, yes, there are entrepreneurs, there are people wanting to strike big, pero not like today where it's really accessible. Because there are loans available, right? There Banks. are there are a lot and of, a lot of investors. Yeah, yeah, a lot of investors. There's a lot of venture capitalists. There's a lot of opportunities. And right now, you can even start with no cost, really, because you know, with the internet, it really opens yes, up a new world. A lot. Yes. Pero the thing is, ilan ba dun sa mga taong nag nagsusubok ang talagang trained next uh, were they really exposed to what business is all about mm. from a young age very little kasi very few, very few. so the, the, that's why parang na romanticize na yung idea ng business alam mo yon ah, gusto ko yung mama kaya magbe-business ko parang so kasi yun yung nakikita natin na ay yung mga mayayaman may negosyo pero hindi niyo nakita yung mga pinanggalingan nun bago dumating kung nasaan sila ngayon right like you don't you don't see that and people and in the past people didn't talk about it kasi no. wala namang social media exactly. wala and that it was a taboo before to talk about failures so right? here's the thing uh, you know shark tank right all those pitching shows right all of this are like what they're to support startup startup yes. companies new negotiations great ideas and a lot of things good things come from it but it also kind of like gives in to that instant gratification thing that oh i'm gonna be famous right away i'm gonna be a millionaire right away <laughs> so that also kind of plays a big part of it you know and then people are like oh why is it so hard for me? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Why is it easy for them yes, but hard for yes. me? Yes, yes. For me, actually, when you know, I, I coach clients from all over the world on, you know, developing their businesses and markets, and it, it's actually funny because for me personally, failures are part of it. Rejections are part of the process, but for most people, they find it odd. Ay, bakit ganon? Ayaw niya. I did my best. Alam mo yung parang ganun. Bakit na reject na naman ako, right? Hey guys, what are your experiences about you know with negotiations and you know your businesses, the challenges, the failures? We would love to hear about your own experiences, right? And what are do you have any tips on how to fail forward? So we're actually gonna be waiting for your sharing and for your questions. Okay, so we're gonna move to the first. The first one the is first about one. stepping back and being yes. creative, right? So, what did we call this one? It's we're 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 kind of like comparing, we're using a metaphor. Yeah, we're using <laughs> metaphors, right? So we're kind of comparing it to so somebody. A fitness plan. Yes, starting to go to the gym and getting fit, right? Yeah. So the first feeling forward is knowing how to um, be open to change. Yes, being open to change and knowing. How can I say it? Be not only being open to change, but being aware of the challenges yes, that might yes. arise right? and being adaptable to things. Yes. Because I think learning how to bounce back fast. Because yun yun eh. If if you think of dapat mabilis ka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you gotta you, can, you gotta catch the egg before it you know splats <laughs> on the floor. Exactly. And even when it does, alam mo agad yung pan pano <laughs> I mean, pano pano makuha, right? Yeah. So this is actually kind of like. You know, having a fitness plan, right? When you have a fitness plan, when you're about to start into your fitness journey, a lot of the times it's quite discouraging because mahirap talaga mag-exercise, okay? <laughs> so parang ganon din sa business. Mahirap magsimula ng business kasi madami talagang kung ano-anong blocks. Marami kang hindi alam, marami kang hindi naintindihan pa, and maraming mga magnene say sa iyo team kaya yan, maluluki ka. So, marami na di-discourage. Kind of like starting an exercise routine, right? Like, why pa? Oh. Here up. Right? Oh, okay. So, not only that, parang while you're doing it, di ba? Um, you, you yourself. Yeah, you're yourself. You parang yourself. Parang yung buong muscle mo nagsistretch. Parang oh. feeling mamatay ka na on, a, like an, on body, right? Parang, 
hindi ka makahinga. Kulang hindi ka Tapos like the next day, you're so sore. Yeah. You're just like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Yes. It's the same thing with business. That's why we're using the fitness metaphor. Para medyo makaka-relate kayo, mm-hmm. right? Na, ano lang siya, parang it, sometimes you just need to break. Parang ano lang siya, parang breaking a new, a new part of yourself. Kasi, di ba ganun yung exercise? Parang natutulog yung mga muscles mo. So and, you gotta wake it up. Yes. And it's the same with businesses, right? Like, maybe your your business muscle have never been awakened yes. until now. And that's why when you meet failure or when you meet something you consider as a failure or as a rejection, Challenge. take it as simply your body stretching itself to something new, to something different. And use that as a way to step back and adapt creatively to how you can move forward again so let's put it into the business context right so for example you nagrent ka na ng place mo remember this is our example from before nagrent ka na ng place mo ah yes the tapos, day came, right yeah tapos parang oh no eh hindi ako masyadong clear tapos wala kang makuhang baker or a cook na tama. So you're like, oh, maybe my tito can cook, right? Yes, yes. And then your tito really cannot cook. So this is like now making your business lugi because people don't want to eat the food, right? So what do you do now? You take a step back. You analyze the situation that you got yourself in. And then now you can, you can try to think outside the box, okay, and address the issue, right? Ano ba to? Okay. I know that I made a mistake here, but how can I address this and move forward? Okay? How can I go ahead and correct this mistake? Mahirap mag-fire ng tito. <laughs> right? So, maybe you bring in somebody is a sous chef, right? Medyo assistant who, who has a little bit more knowledge about how to cook. Or, let's put it in a startup, startup context, right? You know, having a startup is quite difficult, especially if it's a fintech, you know, startup. Because you have a lot of competition, and if you have a really fully surveyed the market, you can easily get into, encounter a lot of challenges, okay, easily. So, so <laughs> they gave us a gift. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. It's a cool more, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so easily, um, like, uh, in a startup context, this one, you're gonna have to really be able, you're gonna have to take a deep breath, take a step back. What's going wrong? Am I addressing the right pain points? Am I, am I actually implementing what I need to implement properly? And if you're not, be open-minded enough, be aware enough of the mistakes that you made and rectify them properly whether it's through another method or you know another way if you can't get investors in this way maybe you can get it another, another way because yeah. i <clears throat> think of it as what a, a failure is just a diverted success right it's a delayed that's success. what chris right? does it's said. a way for you to realize ay yung ganitong step hindi pala siya bagay para sa Mm-hmm. Hindi pala tama na hinire ko yung tita ko. Hindi tama na fin- nag-focus kami sa funding of one software when hindi pa kami sure. Mm-hmm. So, it, it, take it as a, okay, what can I get out of this and how do I move forward? And the next thing, and that's what we're, we're talking about earlier, na a lot of the times, you have to also get used to um, rejections, hearing rejections or not hearing a yes immediately. Because for me, not hearing a yes is not a no. Yes. Right? Because people <laughs> like think, yes. right? Because <laughs> people think that, lalo na sa pitching, right? When you write proposals, when, when, and hindi siya agad na, yes, let me sign the contract. Yes. May mga tanong pa siya, hindi ibig sabihin na it's a no. Ibig niya sabihin, I want more clarity. I want you to, to explain this to me better so I can say yes faster. And that's actually our second point. Failures, use them, think of them as just like, ayun sa shot. You know that, how they call that? The flu? The immune, not the immune Yeah, yeah, the vaccine. Parang siyang vaccine. Kasi you build your immunity to to hearing no or to, to feeling personal. Na, na personal na lahat. You start becoming more objective. 
So here's the thing guys, I know that you know businesses, they're our babies, they're, they come from our, you know, our hearts and our minds and typically when it's a startup, it's really our passion. The thing that happens now is usually what happens is people, because it is our baby, we tend to personalize everything, yeah. every little opinion or like nagtanong lang ng konti, defensive na yeah, agad. Yes, yes, exactly. or you know like just because this this investor like said no to it you feel so down because now they're they're saying that your baby isn't good enough so um what we're trying to tell you guys is you need to become immune build up your immune system yes. and become objective when you are when you have a business you have to be objective and really see the pros and cons see the good and negatives and learn how to take those opinions and turn it to something good right yeah. and i wanted to share you know diba, you think about netflix right now it's everywhere i know but there's once upon a time netflix almost closed down. yes they closed down and i remember reading na yung founders ng netflix they flew to somewhere to pitch to the blockbuster yung blockbuster yeah. blockbuster report, right? is a video store right so in yeah. the us we have red box which is just kind of like a vending machine for dvds and and grocery stores and then we had blockbuster right where we, you can rent dvds and where is blockbuster now blockbuster is gone it has been and blocked <laughs> yeah has been blocked right? has been blocked by society but actually they were thinking of investing in it mm-hmm. but at that time um the the fa- the ceo then after listening they he just pretty much did not see the value then so the netflix founders they were not of course they were disney of course. and they were they really and when they really scrapped whatever they could for that plane ticket because mm-hmm. it was already their last money, last money. Right? Pero, instead of like seeing this as i know this is the end of the universe for us they took it as maybe we need to change the way we talk or maybe we need to be more specific the, with the our delivery. plans. Yeah, we need to be more creative with talking to people para people can relate to it more. Because sometimes, if you're, if you're doing something different, there's really a pushback. Yes, there's yes, resistance. Yes, for right? sure. Because I remember the first time I heard, you know, I ever heard about Netflix, I'm like, why? This is so confusing. Everything's a bit. <laughs> and they had this list and I was like, what, how, how is this supposed to, you know, to go? When I could just go to Safeway or the grocery store and rent myself a DVD, right? But then, you know what? I found, a con- that, I found that it's more convenient and everything, right? But, you know what? Another good example with this is Nokia, the cell phone. Yeah. Nokia was like the bomb. Nokia, yeah. everybody had a Nokia. You had a Nokia, you were like popular and everything. But they were they were not able to go with the trend, yes, right? Yes. A lot of other cell phone companies were actually going, um, pitching to them yeah. to, to be more, I don't know, a more forward with their technology, right? And a lot of those companies are where now? They're actually yes. really big. They're bigger now. I mean, yeah. where's Nokia now? They're so minute. I mean, they're trying to make a comeback, but... It's going to be hard for them it, to but say. But here's the thing. They're trying to fail forward. Yeah. It's going to be hard for Nokia to make it But back they are not now. saying no. But they are not saying no. Yes. They're trying to find a way to get back in that, you know, and get back into the market. And that ties back to our first point, right? That fading forward is simply a way for you to step back, see a bigger picture. Analyze. Yes. Put it all, you know, and find maybe different pieces of the puzzle that you can move around and then use that as our second reason, which is, you know, building your immunity, not be taking it personally. Because it's very objective yeah, yeah, yeah. so that you can help yourself, right? Exactly. Because if you take things too personally, it's going to be very, very hard to help yourself yeah. because you're going to dwell on it. You're going to get depressed yes. and then you don't see things very clearly. Yes. So, hey guys. I just want to take a break for a little bit. I want to say hello to everybody who just came in, quite a few right? On I know, yeah. and also here on Kumu, right? I want to say hello to oh, Halbert is here, Glam is here, Kael is here. Hello, Ryu. So thank you everybody to who's joined us, 
and we would love to hear about your negotiations, right? I saw a couple of gifters over here. Thank you so much. I think one of them was Marisol. She was also in her stream last, last week, week yeah. right? Yeah. She was the one who asked about the her negotiation. No? I think so. Yeah. Uh, um, Marisol or Crystal? I think it was Crystal. I'm not. I'm not yeah. so sure, but yeah, I know that you you were with us like last week, right? So. Today, here at the Startup Secrets, right, the Real Negoshante Talk, we are talking about how to fail forward and how to make failures work for you. Yes. So, we gave a recap earlier about, um, how do you call this, about our last week's episode and how it goes hand in hand with today, right? So, last week's episode was about why negotiations fail and today, we are talking about how to fail forward. And how okay. to use that failure to propel you forward. Yes. yes. As your engine. Yeah. Yeah. The gas. <laughs> chugga, 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 chugga. Choo, choo. Yes. Right? So, does anybody have any questions or anything to share with us? You know, like Krista was here earlier, and then we have a lot, a lot of other people come and join in. So, please. I know that I'm not able to say hi. Please don't think that we're snobbing you, okay? We just want to give you all the information that we have. So, as a recap, number one, number one on how to fail forward is to step back, step back analyze, see the big picture, and then come creatively back. come back. Yes. And that's the key, creatively, creatively come back. Creatively come, come back. back. Don't try to just stick with, you know, one way highway, yes. okay? Number two, is to build your immune system. Yes. Become objective. Stop taking things too personally. Yes. Look at failures as your vaccine. Yes. Right? The vaccine for you that to grow. No, it's not really yes. a no. Yes, yes. Right? right? Especially when you're pitching to investors. Sometimes yeah. just a little tweak. Yes. Right? And not hearing a yes doesn't mean no. Exactly. <laughs> Sometimes persistence is all you need. Yeah. Sometimes it's again creative comeback, which we talked about the first point. Now Actually, when you fail, when we look at failure, look at rejection as something for you to optimize your products, your offers, your pitches, your services. Because the mere fact that binigyan kanya ng time, na nagcomment siya, it means it's interesting enough for yes. them to do so. For them to give their opinions, yeah. for them to actually, you know, think about it, use their, you know, coconuts. Yeah. And give you an opinion or give you suggestions that means it's it, you know there's stuff there that's good so don't don't take it personally and you know I want to share something here now this is really a personal experience in my business as well because you know I do coaching right and a lot of times in coaching there's a lot of intangibles and even I think in, as a behaviorist, mm. right? We work with intangible. It means intangible. Hindi mo hindi mo nakikita yung mga bagay. So when people ask me, especially like some clients, right? Normal kasi for us to focus on what's not here now yes. instead of what's growing, right? So when clients come to me and then they, they after let's say two months, they're saying, oh Maria, but wala pang ganito, walang ganyan, walang ganyan. The first thing that I would say, okay, hold on. Since we started working together, these are the things that already happened Happen. for you. First, you increase your confidence. Look at the way you talk. So, parang kinakwan because hindi ko siya tinake personally yung comment niya na ay bakit hindi ko pa nakikita yung result na gusto ko. Hindi ko siya. I don't look at it as a as something as an objection. Feeling ko sometimes people need reassurance. Yes. And that is what failing, you know, rejection Secure. or yes, yes. Yung reassurance that this is actually what you've got, you've achieve since working together these are the things that have happened for you and these things the what you're not seeing is just a matter of time so actually that's a really really good point because this is when your mindset will really come into play on being grateful and really um celebrating your small yes, wins yes, because yes. if you just 
keep looking at what you don't have now, it's really gonna be really hard for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, and sometimes it's you know to live another day, to keep our doors open another day. Sometimes that's all what matters in businesses, especially when businesses yes. start off, right? Seriously, seriously. So let's go to the third one. So the third one is about building our endurance, right? So we talked about our immunity, yeah. right? Right? We're, we're we're being less and less exercise, yeah, nagiging strong, kana. Yeah. Right? So so, diba? so so failure, kasi they they help us see things better, nakakapag step back tayo, we become more creative with our comeback, and syempre, natututo na tayo na to be more objective, to not take things personally, to be more um, centered on what we want to offer. So yung the third thing naman is these things, failures or rejections, they help us with our endurance. Kasi nakikita mo na, ay, okay, so ganito pala, I'll change that. Ngayon, marunong na ako nito. The next level naman. The, the next level. The next level. So, failures help you level up. Yes. So, if you... If you actually use your failures to your advantage and really learn from it, right? It builds your muscle. Yes. It makes you stronger because you're not only wiser, yeah, right? You're think you're already looking at things um, objectively, you know what to do because you charge it to experience. Yes. Now, you have that endurance to push through. To really keep pushing through, so that's really, really quite important. Yeah. Yeah, and actually, that's one thing that even in the coaching, right? Again, I coach entrepreneurs. I coach people starting their businesses, starting from scratch. And sobrang normal for me to hear, "Ay, bakit ganon? Bakit ako napapagod agad? Bakit ang hirap nito?" And I always say, you know what? This is all natural because what you're doing is new. Parang don't take, don't take the need to take a time off. Because usually with entrepreneurs, especially sa startups, diba? Lalo na if you're the more creative you become, parang feeling mo, I need a break. And they feel like needing a break is a symbol of failure. Kasi, bakit ganun? Eh, why yung, why right? am I feeling this way yes, so yes, early yes, yes. Why am I tired all the time? Yeah. Pero for me, kasi, of course, you need to build your muscle. You need to build your endurance. Kasi, gaano... One day ka lang naging entrepreneur. <laughs> 20 something years or 30 something years, 40 something years ka working for other people. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, eh, ang business, ang dami yung, wala kang set plan. Wala kang deliverables. Not like if you work for other people, they give you your clear Everything. expectations. Yeah. So you actually have to do that for yourself, okay? Yes. <laughs> because if you are your own boss, you need to know. You need to have a plan. <laughs> yeah, you have to manage your expectations yes. as well. Be realistic. That yes. is. We discussed about that yeah. last week. And it's important to be able to manage our own expectations. Yun yung pinaka hard kasi. Because when we have high expectations of ourselves, kasi tingin natin, tayo ay si Batman at si Superwoman. That we are able to build a very successful business tomorrow. Right? But tomorrow. Yes. But again, failures, like whatever you consider as your failure, they're not. Okay? You feeling tired is not a failure. You hearing a no is not a failure. You hearing a not now is not a failure. You not hearing a feedback is not a failure. You uh, uh, receiving negative feedback is not a failure. You receiving not a yes is not a failure. So everything you're doing right now will all add up tomorrow. Right? And again, at sometimes we just need to look at the next step and then the next step and then the next step. Kaya, please, if you're thinking, why, uh, why don't I have it all together today? Uh, please, be kind to yourself. Be gentle to yourself, right? And breathe. <laughs> yes. Breathe and see what's in front of you. Work with what's in front of you. The, the, the point here is you need to keep moving forward. Yeah. No matter what challenges that you are encountering, no matter you know the different pushbacks, the resistance that you you are facing right now. As a negotiante, you gotta be resilient. Yeah. You gotta be resilient. You gotta always think, hey, I gotta move forward. Yes. Okay. Not, not, hey, I gotta, how do I move forward? You knew key, right? Like, hey, how do I get, how do I move past this? 
friends or parang kunyari ay may nasabi siyang mali sa or nasaktan ako sa sinabi ng I don't know, ng nanay ko or ng tatay ko about my business. How do I move past this? You know, right? you know when I was an educator back in the United States, uh, I would get a lot of seething emails from parents, right? About, <laughs> I'm and, sure. And they were very, very cruel and they were very, very mean. And, you know, if I took it personally, I would not be able to help their children. I will not be able to help them. So what do I do? I print out their email. I get a Sharpie. I block out all of those emotionally charged statements. And I leave the objective things, like the questions. I leave out the facts. And then I read the email again without the emotionally charged things. Then I'm able to address their needs properly, right? So it's about having coping behaviors. It's about learning how to help yourself, okay? Yes. Because as a business person, as an entrepreneur, you really, really need to have, not only have thick skin, but your gut feel has to be working with you also, yeah. right? Because if you take things too personally, everything's gonna go down the drain. Yes, and you need to be ready for to adapt. So like, remember what we said, the first one is, you need to be able to step back. Yes. Analyze, right? Why? is your business going down, down, down. Make sure that you are open-minded enough to explore other ways, other methods of, um, what do you call this? Addressing the problem, okay? Don't be afraid to ask help also. Never, never be too afraid to ask for help. Number two, what's number two? Is to build an immune system. Because you have to desensitize yourself from feedback and only see what's the objective here for me i it's great that you talked about yung, you use the sharpie mm -hmm. to block things out ako what i always think i always come from the world is here to support me yan yes. lang lagi kong iniisip the universe is there I, to it's support always us. you know like i always think the, nobody's out to get me nobody wants to see me fail kasi minsan ganun yung parang yeah. nag, nag ganun yung nagpe-play in our minds ay nako ay baka ano sabi niya especially niyan, right? in this filipino culture yes, because yes, of the sad yes. mentality yes right so sa akin ang focus ko lang is everybody wants to support me so whatever feedback people give me i will siguro magre-react ako but i will keep it in mind and i will think about how is this person helping me because sometimes people can only help you to the extent that they know. they know. And sometimes their help for them is to tell you, be careful. But they said it in a different or way. Not, not only, you know how when parents, parents, right, they, they get mad when they get scared, right? Papagalitan ka. It's like that. Because a lot of times people don't know how to express themselves properly when they're scared. Mm -hmm. Like, in, especially in this culture, when somebody's scared, nobody goes, I'm takot ako for you. Yeah, no. Yeah. They go, Bakit mo nagawa yan? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, ganyan, yeah, ganyan, yeah. ganyan. So that's how they express their care, right? So if you actually take out the emotionally charged statements there, you would hear that they She's were... She's just concerned. She was concerned. Yeah. Concerned lang siya. So failure helps you also to build an immune system that would allow you to see things more objectively yes. and for you to take the key pieces of the feedback and make something better with your processes, with your thoughts, with your ideas, with your offers, with your products. And that's really, really important. And the last thing is about building an endurance system. Because again, business is evolving. Your muscle power. Yeah. Business always evolves. Parang siyang, di ba, pag nag -e exercise ka, minsan, paano kung sarado yung gym? Right? What would you do, right? You need to be creative. Yes. Or, pa, paano kung kunyari ngayon, sobrang dali, parang hindi ka na pinapawisan, right? Like, you gotta level up. Yes. So, right? failing actually helps you level up because you step up better. You step up more. You realize that actually writing, I don't know, writing an email, Hindi kulang yon. Minsan you have to be creative about your email. It allows you to really take yourself and your business more seriously. You gotta adapt to your current environment yes. and also to your current state, right? You're not gonna run a 21 mile marathon yeah. when you can barely run five miles. But that five miles started from one mile. 
So slowly you level up, level up, level up, right? So that's the same thing in business. So that's why we have what? Find, you know, like in, in with startups, we have our Series A, Series B, right? This is when we get our funding. Yeah. Okay, so it's very important for you guys to, to just take it easy, build your endurance yes. and slowly work up to it. And I think it's, it's also good to remove the word failure from your vocabulary and see them as just again re-diver a new diverted success mm -hmm. see them as a means as a way for you to have a creative comeback yes. see them as a means for you to build your endurance to adapt to be more creative in that adaptability it see them as a way for you to be more objective and to take your business personally so if you look at it failure should not be a word that's that you put into your dictionary Instead, I think we need to focus on what's coming, what's right here, mm -hmm. and how can I do more of it? Yes, that's very, yeah. very true, right? So, have a good and positive mindset, okay? Hello to everybody who joined, uh, who's joined us, right? I'm so sorry we weren't able to say hello to everybody. Yeah. So, guys, we are towards the end of the show, right? But we want to make sure that you guys know what's coming up next, right? Yes. So next week, again, our time is 8 p.m. on <laughs> Every Thursday, Thursday, right? Yes, so next week, 8 p.m. Thursday, we're talking about building your business drive. Yes. Because you know what? Network, network, network. Yeah, uh, but this is not the, are you open-minded? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not, we're, not, we're not gonna trick you, but you know what? Hey, a lot of people actually made it big on that one. No, yeah, that's why there's a lot of stuff going on. Because you know why? Businesses cannot be alone. No. So that's why we need to really look at building a tribe for ourselves, building our own networks, building you know a support system that would help us with uh, our businesses moving forward. Because that means na overwhelmed, ka, especially if you don't feel comfortable sharing with anybody your experiences because not, not everybody is a business person and not everybody can understand yes yes so yes. you need somebody who can relate yes exactly and that's what next week will be about so again we love everybody thank you for joining us we have we got quite a lot of gifts no today <laughs> from Kumo and we just want to say that we are live every Thursday 8 p.m. here on Facebook at saka sa Kumo and the replays are available on Facebook, YouTube, and even Kumo, cool. right? And we are you can find us also in Instagram. My handle on Instagram is at Maria underscore K underscore Tan, and mine is Miss M S period Olivia Yao. So that's M S period O L I B I A Y A O. I also have a Facebook page Miss O M S period O. But guys. This show actually has its own IG page. Yes, yes. So it's the real Negoshante Talk. So please add us, follow us so that you get our notifications. And behind the scenes. Behind <laughs> the scenes, right? Exactly. So we would love to hear from you guys more. Please send us your comments. Please send us your suggestions. And feel free to send us a to, to leave us a comment or message so that we can still cater or customize our shows. For you, because again, we created this for really you. for you for the Filipino market, well, especially for those people who have the money, who have all these great ideas, but just doesn't know how to start, yes. right? Because we want to be able to help you start your empire. Yes. Like right now, I'm building my empire. It's not easy, but it's I know it's gonna be worth it, right? <laughs> so. Really, for those people who really want to get into business, please do messages. Please, please. Um, there are no stupid questions. Yes. No stupid questions at all. So, it's been a great talk. Yes, it is. We hope to see you guys again uh, next Thursday. Um, what else? I think that's it for today. Mm -hmm. And it is the end of February. Oh, yeah. It is We're entering end. March. So, if you're still thinking and delaying your great idea, spring is the best time to yes. put forth. Where? things start to grow to awesome yes. yes and this is the right time for you to be following us to be listening to the key things that would really help you start the business and start your empire all right this is maria and, and miss oh we hope that you had a good 
time with us. All right. We hope that you are well educated and empowered now. All right, guys. Bye.